Hello friends, my name is C. Rajendra Aroda and today we shall be uh, discussing in our YouTube channel one very important aspect to which actually the entire globe is fighting with. Uh, we are talking about the pandemic, the COVID-19, the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, with respect to GST, one question normally arises, what would happen with the input tax credit available on the purchase of uh, uh, masks or sanitizers or other COVID protection items? So we will analyze in today's video in short span of time that whether the input tax credit received on these items would be available to the recipient or not. In order to avail any input tax credit, basically primarily two conditions are required to be fulfilled. First is that uh, the inward supply should be received uh, for use in the course of furtherance of business and second is section 16 subsection 2 conditions should be complied with coupled with that it should be it should not be blocked under section 17 subsection 5 so both the conditions we will be analyzing first condition is that in the course of furtherance of business it should be used or intended to be used uh, in the course of furtherance of business phrase is not defined into the act so we will take uh, the legacy into picture of the erstwhile service tax regime wherein in many judgments the honorable courts have pronounced that in the course of furtherance of business would nothing but of in the advancement conduct or execution of the business activities so when these masks sanitizers those other covid protection items are being provided to employees of the organizations or the visitors of the organizations these are used in the course of furtherance of business only because to advancement of the business if these items are not provided to employees or the visitors then the business cannot be conducted in the safe working environment wherein the business would actually come to permanent halt if these protections or safety measures are not being taken. So uh, first condition is uh, very well met that these goods are being used uh, or intended to be used in the course or furtherance of business. Second condition 16 subsection 2 uh, all the conditions should be met it, the goods should have been received the invoice is there uh, the payment must have been made the taxes must must have been paid by the supplier if all these conditions are met then we will consider that the ITC is available you have to analyze this uh, 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 I would say the applicability of these conditions on case to case basis second limb of the second condition is that section 17 5 should not block this credit now uh, under section 17 subsection 5 two sub clauses would be attracted one is clause G wherein uh, use of personal consumption goods uh, uh, the credit is blocked now uh, whether these uh, masks or sanitizers or other covid protection items are used for the personal consumption of the employees or the visitors answer is no my dear friends uh, these are used for the purposes of purely business conduct for the advancement of the business execution of the business if the safe working environment is not provided to the employees or the visitors then they cannot work there so the business can never be conducted so it is not it can never be said that anything given uh, during the course of employment or uh, during the course of business uh, uh, to during the course of employment to employees or during the course of business to visitors can be set to be used for personal consumption it can never set to be used for personal consumption next clause would be attracted sub clause g with respect to gifts or samples whether these covid protection item masks or sanitizers are provided as gifts to uh, employees or visitors answer is no whether provided as samples to them of course answer is no so all these conditions are met uh, and uh, resultantly we can safely say that the input tax credit on masks, sanitizers and other COVID protection items would be available to the recipient organization. Uh, I hope that this uh, video shall be useful for you for to decide your GST implication on this particular aspect. I would request you to please uh, uh, spread this video as much as possible and uh, 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 subscribe uh, our YouTube channel and like it don't forget to press the bell icon thank you very much please stay safe stay healthy uh, stay protected from this pandemic god willing we shall come uh, certainly out of it if we stand united if the nation stands united thank you very much friends